Hey guys, what's up? I set the turn here from Clash of Clans Manual, here with my very first Q&A video as part of my 1,000 subscriber special. And once again, check out my last video if you haven't seen the 1,000 subscriber uh, special video yet because uh, I forgot to put the link to the first war and about an hour later someone reminded me. So I put the link in. If you haven't seen my first war, check it out. The link's in my 1,000 subscriber video. Anyway, though, I'm going to get into the questions. Uh, thanks for commenting. Got a number of questions I'm excited to answer. And once again, I'm going to be making a series out of this, I decided. So uh, this video takes a little bit longer than most videos to make. So it might be once a week, you know, once every two weeks, kind of like my Clash 101 series. Just kind of sprinkle those videos in uh, because they do take a while to make. But comment uh, your questions for the next video on this video. And then I won't answer them in the comments below, but I'll take a few of them and use them for my next Q&A video. So for this one, I think I selected about five questions. So we'll take a look at those now, and I'll do my best to answer them. Okay, so Hera Brown asks, Still remember watching your first video when I just began with Clash of Clans and those fights look so high level, but you sound like eight years younger. Uh, the Q&A why did you start playing Clash of Clans and how old are you? So I'm 16, I'm a sophomore, or I just finished my sophomore year in high school. And how I started playing Clash of Clans, I guess, is my friend got me into it basically. Uh, I think it was the summer of, yeah, summer of 2013. My friend, or no, summer of 20, yeah, 2013. Summer of 2013, my friend told me, about this cool game. I think it was at like a sleepover or something. He downloaded it onto my phone. He actually put it on my dock, uh, where my like my texts and my phone and stuff is, my phone app and stuff on my iPhone. And I quickly moved it to the back of my, like the last page of my iPhone. But then like two weeks later, it was back on my dock. I was playing it a lot. And from there, you know, there was some pe time periods where I was busy, couldn't play it as much, but pretty consistently have played it. And it'll be about two years that I've played it uh, this July, and it'll be one year that I've had my YouTube channel this July. So kind of funny how that works out, but uh, yeah, I think that answers the question. Uh, next question, sorry about that. Next question, uh, Cobes Mind asks, what's your plan for YouTube? How long will you do YouTube? So I haven't thought that much long term. I'm still enjoying the YouTube channel. Uh, you know, it's it's fun for me to make videos. It's yeah, I do make money off of it, just off some ads, but it's really nothing. Uh, I mean, the money's not the big deal. Uh, I just enjoy making the videos. I enjoy interacting with you guys uh, in my subscriber clan and in the comments section below. Uh, so I don't plan on stopping anytime soon, unless the game gets kind of stale and they stop adding new features, which is possible. I might kind of slow down and stop uh, playing the game. But I think as long as I play the game, I'll still have this channel. Just because I, as long as I enjoy playing the game, I'll enjoy making these videos. So can't give you a definite time for how much longer this will be. But hopefully, it'll be quite a while. As long as the game's still popular, as long as I, you know, continue getting viewers and subscribers, and you guys like the content. So, uh, by the way, I hope you like the background attacks. They're from our most recent war. I'm showing all ten attacks. Or maybe not all ten. Depends how much longer, how long I have to talk for. Uh, we're just working our way down. We're at two right now, I think. All right. So next question is from Mark Peabody. What is the quickest and cheapest farming troop combination? And then Dawood Dawood Jansen uh, kind of jumped the gun and said archers and giants. And I think that's a good question because you know everyone wants to have the quickest farming. Co uh, composition and also the most inexpensive but it really depends what you're going for if you if you don't need dark elixir if you may be lower level or you're you know you've already done some of your, your king and some of your uh, some of your dark troops in the upgrades you know you might want to focus on gold and elixir in which case I would say barge just archers barbarians uh, you know goblins that kind of stuff obviously your heroes and I, I think if you have time, you should do that. If you can sit down for, you know, watch TV while you in between attacks, something like that. If you can string together a bunch of attacks, I would recommend using that. If you're pretty busy, you might want to use uh, some giants, some wizards, 
wall breakers, and really focus on when you do attack that you get some big bases and you're able to just destroy and get a ton of loot in each attack so that way it's still worth it even if you're attacking every hour or so you can still uh, get some good loot um, one thing people don't understand is that giants people always think giants take too long to train but it's not true like archers take five archers takes longer to train than one giant so, you know, it's quicker if you're training giants instead of archers. So don't be afraid to train giants to tank uh, for, for your troops out in front and back it up with archers, barbarians, goblins. Because if you're okay with a slightly more expensive for giants, it's definitely worth it because they are quicker to train. Uh, so I think Dawood Jansen was right to some extent. Archers and giants is a good composition. Uh, now, if you're going for Dark Elixir, I would recommend, you know, bringing more heavy troops because... Most of the time, you're not going to be able to get enough just from the drill, uh, Dark Elixir drills on the outside. You're going to need to bring some Wall Breakers, some Giants, and Wizards, that kind of stuff. Uh, probably Wizards in your Clan Castle if you can get them. But, yeah, I think... <clears throat> uh, yeah, you definitely have to bring heavier troops uh, to get uh, the Dark Elixir. So, as far as spells goes, I'd say... You might need heal spells if you're bringing like giants, wizards, heavier troops. But uh, if you're just doing archers and stuff, you can bring lightning spells and either just drop them on a dark elixir storage in the middle, which is always fun to do, or take out like a mortar, the CC troops, kind of splash damage. If you can get a mortar and a wizard tower right next to each other, uh, that kind of stuff. So try to take out that splash damage if you're just bringing barge and those low uh, hit point troops. So I hope that makes sense. It just really, honestly, it really depends. But those are a few uh, compositions you can use. All right, next question. E Crow asks, "Who are some of the best attackers in Forty Nine er War Clan?" So this one, uh, you know, there's a lot of great attackers. But if I'm just talking about the best here, I'd have to say uh, Brian. He's the leader of the clan. He actually has four accounts within the clan. Uh, you, you might have seen some of his attacks. He's Three of them are Town Hall 10s. He has uh, his accounts are Brian. I think one's like N W I J K. Uh, just those letters. And then Falling Uphill and Peter, which is a Town Hall 9. You may have seen some of Peter's Town Hall 9 attacks. Uh, but he's really a staple of our clan. And the clan is based off, I think, a group of people who know each other. I'm not part of that. I'm actually, I live in Seattle, even though I am a 49ers fan. But the core group, I think, lives in San Francisco. So, uh, there, but Brian is probably the the staple of that core group, in my opinion, uh, because he has four accounts and he's a very strong war attacker. Uh, as far as Town Hall 9s, uh, other than Peter, we have, you guys have definitely seen these guys, uh, Marcel and KFS. KFS is actually in my three-star union clan right now, him and his mini account, uh, but they're both, KFS and Marcel, both very strong Town Hall 9 attackers. And what I like is they don't have the highest level heroes. Uh, they're, you know, lower level as far as that goes. But they are able to get some awesome three-star attacks. They can use hogs, which I really like. So, yeah, it's just fun to watch them attack. Um, moving on. Michael Gibson asks... Congrats on hitting 1,000. I hope there's way more to come. I really love your videos and can't wait for you to hit 2,000. Good luck. And his Q&A, he has a few questions which we'll get to. Do you think that Supercell should be more open with future updates? What is your favorite thing about Clash of Clans? And if you weren't a YouTuber, what would you be doing? Okay, so I guess I just go one at a time for that one. As far as Supercell being more open with future updates... I don't think it's that's the problem. I you know, gaming companies never really that open. They're kind of doing stuff, and then it comes out, and you either get what you want or you don't. I think the main problem is not that they're not being transparent, not that they're not being open, but just, but that they're not putting in the content we want to see. And I think you know we've been waiting for Town Hall Eleven for years. Uh, we've you know wanted fixes to X Mod, which they have done to some extent. But they're still cheating, and honestly, I think the last uh, few months, maybe even last six months, they've been pretty sparse on updates, not doing that many. 
so I think I don't mind if they're not being open about it. I don't think they necessarily have to. I don't mind the one week uh, window where they start like having sneak peeks. That's all fine. I just think that they should add better content. Um, you t see this from gaming companies occasionally where they have such a successful game. Uh, they kind of relax on the updates a bit and just let it go. Uh, and I think they're kind of doing that to some extent. So I know Chief Pat has seen the new update, which will be coming out very soon. So hopefully it's good because recently there hasn't been that much good content. And obviously, like the little game mechanics things like pausing replays, that's all good, but we need some actual content. And the last big thing was the Lava Hound, I think. So I uh, need some good stuff. The Air Sweeper wasn't really anything. So hopefully we can get some better content coming soon. So I don't think it's important to be you know, necessarily open, but they should definitely have the content that the community wants to answer that question. Uh, my favorite thing about Clash of Clans I guess, well, if we can go my favorite troop, it's the balloon. I It looks cool at level 6. Uh, that's what my YouTube profile pick is. But really what I like about Clash of Clans is it the strategy of it. It's so complex. There's so much you can do with it. And, you know, it, it does get somewhat dull if there wasn't for war. Because when I look back now, I don't know what I would have done if war hadn't come out. Uh, I, you know, I started the YouTube channel way after war came out. I don't think I ever would have started a YouTube channel. I don't think I would have kept playing this far, to be honest, because there's just so much you can do uh, between trophy pushing and farming. Uh, so it's really nice that war came out. And, you know, Clash of Clans is so unique. It's, it's so complicated. Uh, like I said, there's so much you can do with it, so many different war combinations. I'm always learning. And, you know, I do play those games like... I don't know, I, what would be a good example? Flappy Bird, I guess, if you guys played that. Just little arcade games like that where there's really only one thing you can do. Um, it's, you know, it's just those arcade games. I apologize, the phone's ringing. Uh, but anyway, uh, Clash of Clans is always changing, always new strategies and stuff. And I'm a big strategy war uh, fan. I like those kind of games. And this is the first game that I've really gotten hooked on. Uh, I the last game I played for a long time was Minecraft, probably. And once again, that that's you know there's a lot of stuff you can do with that. I like creating things, so uh, this game is another one that I really fits uh, my interests. So yeah, that's probably why I like Clash of Clans, just the strategy war uh, part of it, and those clan wars, all that good stuff. Uh, last question. Also, if you weren't a YouTuber, what would you be doing? You know, the thing is, I, it's not like I spend a whole lot of time on YouTube. I mean, I upload videos. I try, I'm try. i going to try to do it one a day uh, for the next few days and hopefully throughout this summer. But if I wasn't a YouTuber, you know, I might fill that st space with another game. I don't know. You know, I've over the summer, or I have a part-time job, uh, sports, and during the school year, uh, I have, you know, clubs, sports, homework, all that stuff, so I'm pretty busy, and I wouldn't say that YouTube is, like, a huge part of what I do, but it definitely takes up a chunk of time, so my guess is I would have adopted a, another game, uh, maybe, like, I don't play League of Legends or anything like that, I don't, I don't really like those computer games as much. But I might have started playing Minecraft a little bit more. I don't know. Maybe that game's dead for me. I don't know. I haven't played it in a while. Uh, I might take it up another iOS game. Something like that. I'm not sure. Uh, but it's kind of hard to imagine not doing YouTube because it's been a very fun experience. And I think it was kind of inevitable. I started doing YouTube uh, after I saw the Chief Pat videos. That was kind of the first YouTuber that I watched uh, consistently was Chief Pat. And as you can see, my earliest videos... A lot of them, you know, the war recaps are different styles. They're kind of more of a Chief Pat style. Now I've switched them to more of just a basic, uh, looking at a few attacks, stuff like that. So, yeah, I mean, I don't see a way that I wouldn't have gotten into YouTube because I, uh, I have been watching YouTube for a while of Clash of Clans stuff. Um, so, but had I not been on YouTube, I probably would have been doing other games and maybe even started an unrelated YouTube channel, uh, not about Clash of Clans. I don't know. So, 
uh, yeah, it's the best explanation I can give. Um, that's all the questions. I still want to show that all ten wars from this attack. So I might just go ahead and turn this into a war recap for the last few attacks. Uh, I think that's all the questions. Let me look through real quick. Uh, I'll tell you what, guys. I'll just uh, commentate on these last few attacks. We're looking at Slick right now on eight. And then, yeah, we'll call it good. Because I only I thought all five of these questions would take all, like, 20 minutes, but they didn't. I still want to show you all the attacks, so I'll go ahead and just let them roll. Have, like, five more minutes left or something. So we'll take a look at these. Uh, starting with Slick. And as you can see, these a lot of these were dragon attacks. I apologize it got kind of redundant. Uh, cause, but that's what's working right now, the dragon attacks. Uh, and a lot of our guys have dragons. So... Why use anything else, I guess? Uh, at Town Hall 7, Town Hall 8, they're definitely the most powerful, especially because a lot of us don't have our hogs done yet. So we're using dragons. Uh, anyway, Slick Guy Lightning, the first air defense at the bottom. Now he's coming in with dragons up top. And a lot of people are bringing max balloons now because uh, we have our main accounts here. We can donate those kind of balloons. And they get to those air defenses real quick, take them out. And then they make their way in, take out wizard towers. Uh, that kind of stuff, so it really helps out the dragon. Uh, the dragons make their way through without being shot at too much. Uh, anyway, these aren't all three stars. These are just the best attacks from each base. So the, at, at the top, you might have seen some one stars or two stars. And uh, that's just because we weren't able to three star those bases. So last few defenses going down. Anything that can target air troops is pretty much done, except for that archer tower. And that king right there, I, I hate it when the dragons lock onto the king because it's just such a waste. Um, obviously, he has plenty of troops to take out uh, all these buildings, but if the dragon locks onto the king in a bad spot, you know they can waste a lot of time because the king has a ton of hit points no matter what level he is. So just be aware that the dragons may lock onto the king. Uh, in this next attack, we're only looking at a two-star. Um, Triple, Triple H64 doesn't have dragons, so... Coming at it with a giant wizard combination. Attacking from the top right. Going to go ahead and take care of that king uh, real fast. So he doesn't cause problems later on. Uh, giants go down, then wizards. They'll shoot down the king. Wall breakers to let everything in. And then there come the hogs from the clan castle. Making their way through. I think the heal is a little bit late. Because uh, these hogs go down pretty darn quick. And there's only like two left. I think it could have healed them, so all four could have stayed up. But there goes the heal. Uh, they'll take out a few more defenses before they go down. And has giants and wizards shooting in the background. Uh, probably could have dropped those wall breakers now, but the troops are pretty good at busting through those walls. Yeah, there, there goes the wall breakers. Uh, they'll help get into some of these compartments uh, right there. King making his way around the outside. Good heal spell. Uh, that wizard tower was locked onto the wizards and. Uh, like three or four shots could have taken them down, but the wizards will stay up because of that heal for at least the time being. Uh, making his way through, giants and wizards are starting to go down. They're kind of laying locked inside there, and uh, still a lot of defenses up. So, last few troops will go down right here as we fast forward. Uh, so, pretty solid attack, just couldn't quite get the three star there. Alright, last one we're going to look at after this. Okay. Yeah, last one is number 10. I think this was KFS. Yeah, KFS Jr. Uh, like I said, he's the mini of one of our attackers who's usually in one of the 49er clans, but right now he is in this clan helping out in the clan wars. Uh, so that dragon goes down right there. Lured it out, killed it, no big deal. And then drops the giants. Giant Bomb will go off in just a sec. So it does damage some of his giants, but he has a heal for them. And take note of how that heal, you know, it's leading them. It's 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 making it so they're going to be in that heal for a long time. Don't drop the heal directly on your troops. Drop them where they're going to go. So that heal was expecting them to go to the air defense there. So they're still healed uh, all the way up to that wizard tower, which is nice. Uh, healer's coming in. Now that the air defense is down... Uh, they'll heal those hogs and that uh, gi those giants, and then a swarm of balloons on the backside. Uh, too much for the archer tower and uh, various defenses to handle. Has a good rage there. 
uh, which will help his balloons make their way through. He still has a ton of giants left up. Wizards, his king, just completely destroyed this space and doesn't even need that last heal spell. So he's dropped his cleanup troops around, and we'll fast forward as he t takes care of this base. So nice job to KFS Jr. That's it, guys. Uh, once again, comment your questions for the next uh, Q&A on this video. So I, I'll be sure to take some of those for my next uh, Q&A. Uh, join my subscriber clan once again if you need a clan. We have our main accounts there, and we are doing pretty nice in wars. Uh, haven't lost one in, I think, five wars or something. So make sure to check that out. Um, yeah, that's it. Hope you guys enjoyed this Q&A video. And until my next video, I'll see you guys later. Bye, Sectatron out.